Emotions were high this afternoon as that guilty verdict was read. Kirsten Hatfield's family has waited for more than 20 years for some answers in this case. As for Anthony Palma, he was silent as he was led back to jail and I asked him questions. Any thoughts on the verdict? Can you say where her body is? As you can see, Palma looked straight ahead and when that verdict was read, he showed no emotion and did not look at the family. The jury heard testimony from witnesses throughout the week, including three women who say they were assaulted by Palma in the 1980s and 90s, but the biggest evidence against him, his DNA was found on a pair of Kirsten Hatfield's panties. Those panties were found in the backyard of the family's home the day Kirsten disappeared on May 14, 1997. Kirsten's remains have never been found, but prosecutor Scott Rowland is hopeful they will find them someday. We'll continue looking for her until we find her remains or until this man's heart softens enough so that he sees fit to at least let us recover Kirsten's remains. So far, we haven't seen any kind of remorse or any kind of movement in that regard. Kirsten's mother, Shannon, and her sister, Faith, also broke down in tears when that verdict was read, and they told me this afternoon this is a moment they weren't sure would ever come. We are just, um, I, I can't explain it, but we are just floored by this miracle, and we are so thankful. Palma's next court date is November 27th. The jury recommended life without parole. Reporting in downtown Oklahoma City, Jonathan Cooper, KOCO 5 News. Paul and Abigail, back to you. Hopefully.